Good morning and welcome back to Subsistence. So, um, well, a bit of a stormy start to the day here in the uh, in the wonderful land of Subsistence. Um, let's have a look at our food. That is fine. There we go. They're they're all topped up nicely, and we've got the uh, wind turbines working away very nicely. Hopefully, getting us some decent power. Uh, today I want to try and get out there and just do some good looting. So we're going to head over in that kind of direction. Uh, let's pull up the map just very quickly. And just see if we can see any rogue camps. So we've got our hunter base here. Let's see if there are any fires over in this direction. So we're not surprised when we go on our loot run. It looks fairly empty there are a couple of dark patches i do need to unlock but other than that it looks fairly uh fairly safe out there um yeah so let's get some food and supplies and we'll head out and do a good loot run i don't know whether we're going to get any uh any rain today i hope not uh right how are the fires I think that probably is going to go out. Let me grab some wood for that and we'll top these two up. Uh, let's make sure I eat first. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. Okay. Uh, I've only got pro five protein bars, but I think that'll be okay. I'll take a, a steak out with me, I think. Let's grab a bit of wood and we'll top the two fires up. And we will uh, get out there and try and get these um, circuit boards that we're we're after. Uh, let's put that away. Oh, did I not put that in the right place? There we go. And how long have you got? You've got a while. 0.75. But we do need this stuff, so I'm tempted to leave that running. Um, yeah, we need to. We need to run the generator. Okay, let's do that. We've got 22 biofuel. We can afford to top it up and leave it running, I think. Might get some more biofuel when we're out today. Might be some here in the fire. Nope, looks like I've already grabbed it all. Okay. Um, only two shotgun shells, so I need to be aware of that. But we've got water, we've got food, vegetables and arrows. Let's head out and go and do some looting. I think we'll head round this way today because uh, there are a couple of supplies right outside the door. Let's get this. There's a bloody wolf up there. Right outside the door, we'll uh, we'll grab these plants for sure and a berry. And I'm not seeing any bags initially, but. I love this autumn colouring. It's absolutely gorgeous. I might need to get some wood today as well uh, because we are going to want to generate some mass when we get back. Hopefully we'll grab enough of the electrical components in order to craft the oven. Um, I think I've got enough of the ingots now. I will check all that stuff when we get back, but I just wanted to get out here and try and do a good loot run if we can. I haven't been doing nearly enough looting, and I think in this area I need to go further afield and just loot regularly, every day. That's what I used to do in the old location. Uh, and it was definitely... Oh, hello there. It was definitely easier to do in other areas. Whoops. Visibility was much easier. Oh, there's a bag there. Should we, uh... Should we drag that wolf away? I mean, we could loop back around. Is it worth it for one bag, though? No, I think it's probably better to just keep moving and we'll, we'll just keep grabbing what we can. So let's see how many of these circuit boards we can uh, we can come across today. Just going to make a beeline for the the valley or the the sort of dry plain. 
really depends where the loot takes us. There's some loot up on top of there. But I can't climb up there, I don't think. I'm getting a lot of berries. Do need to keep an eye out for um, cotton plants as well. We should be seeing those at the moment, but I haven't spotted any just yet. I'm going to go back around for some of these fibres because we definitely need those too. Now there was a um, an ammo bag somewhere around here. I've lost it now. Here it is. We'll go for this. It's amazing we're already at the entrance, if you like, or the the beginning of the valley just down there. So quite quite quick. It doesn't take too long to get here, and it's definitely something we should be taking advantage of. Um, trying to come over here much more often. These wide open areas are so much easier to see the uh, the loot at a distance. So it just guides you much quicker to where you need to be. I'm gonna grab you. Lots of lovely fibre. Oh, look at the ore on the rock here. We've, we've, we have to stop for this. Most definitely. I think that's most I've seen in one location other than the, uh, the big ore rock. Uh, that we used to go and uh, collect ore from. Uh, can I not get up here? I was going to say we should be able to. We definitely need the copper. This is very nice. Let's jump up here. Crouch. It's funny, I really wasn't thinking about getting ore today, but when you see it, you need to take it back with you. Okay. Right, so let's get my uh, bow back out. Just check around, just make sure we're not missing any bags because that was a pretty good spawn of loot there. So we're already in the valley, let's go and see what we can see. I already see a bag over there, I think I'll head that way. Um, let's try and avoid the wolf. We'll kind of sneak around here. Hopefully we can be far enough away that he's not going to come towards us. But, I mean, he did kind of have a, a little grump at us. Looks like he's turned away. That's good. That's what we want. Right, we still haven't found any circuit boards so far. Still early in the day, though. So there's some scrap there I want, but there is also a bear near that one. So we'll get this bag and we'll take a look at that scrap in just a second. There's some more scrap here. Look at the beautiful colours. This is so pretty. So very relaxing running around this environment. Generally. Can't really grab that scrap. Let's stop and get a bit of wood because these trees are nice. I think these are four log trees if I remember correctly. There's a deer up there. Luckily we're doing pretty well for um, adhesive. We found most of our adhesive in the lock crates of course. But if we were struggling we could always use the antlers to, uh, to craft some does take um, ash though, which is sometimes a bit of a worry if you've got a garden on the go. Oops, come on. One more. Okay, let's grab the bow and I'm going to swing by and grab that and then run away again. And it looks like there's a couple of plants here if we can grab these two. Oh, I missed one. Go back for it. Let's go down here a bit, I think. This is always tricky. Look at the low visibility in this sort of area. We're quite high up, but it's it's higher on the edges. So you're kind of in a bowl, but on a high point. So 
Very interesting visibility. Right, what can we see? Look at the, look how much of the map you can see from this area compared to where we were. Uh, I see a crate there, so I reckon head towards there, and maybe there'll be the other two that we usually get. Um, they do spawn in groups of three on normal mode, so chances we should be able to find another two crates over here when we can see this one. Doesn't always ring true, but it's a good, a good bet. And they can be quite, quite spread out a bit more than you think. Um, we're gonna have that food. I'll have a tomato. Keep our stamina up for running away from things. Let's look up here now. Um. Oh, there's a berry. We'll go for that. It's amazing how they pop out in this coloration. Hi, Rabbit. So we've got a couple of uh, animals just up here. We've got a bit of scrap. Not too interested in that. Let's look along the hill here. Not seeing anything really. So much from my uh, three crate theory. As I said, it doesn't always work, but it's a good guide. Oh, we've got one circuit board I've just noticed, so the way we're going, we might have a uh, an oven by Christmas, but uh, I'm not going to hold my breath. Oh, there's a plant. So we'll go for you. Let's carry on. We'll back. We'll back. Uh, away down here now. Um, head back around where we've just come from because sometimes the stuff really does spawn in behind you. Um, there's definitely some good plants around here. can't believe how many berries I'm finding. It's surprising. I, I'm not sure if it's just the, the colour change that's allowing me to see them a little better. But we definitely need them for winter. Okay, we'll grab this and then I want to have a good look around. Still only one component. Now there's another crate here. Let's see if we can kind of sneak up and get this one because... Yeah, one in there. Awesome. Let's have a look over here. And um, yep, there's a, an ammo crate. And I really must make myself stop and get some wood. Let me get the uh, axe out. That will remind me. Right, we've got a wolf there. I was going to stop and chop some trees, but that's not a good place. How about here? Yeah, this doesn't look too bad. Let's stop and get some wood. Right, so how much have we got? We've got 14 so far. I think we need at least 50. I know we need to craft... Um, we need 50 mass on top of the standard 100 um, for the oven. So I would like to have a little bit extra just in case I need to craft another ingot in case I've got my calculations wrong. So let's aim to try and get, you know... 75 or something. That will give us a bit of wriggle room. Uh, when I get to around 50, I think I might start making sticks because that'll just give us that little bit extra mass for the uh, for the wood. Uh, yeah, let's grab a few more trees. Just looking around, there's still no crates particularly. Have to check what time it is in a second. Because we might get the second loot spawn. Okay, so it's about midday. So we should get another loot spawn in. Just there was the game saved in the bottom left hand corner. Should get a second loot spawn in sometime around now, so yeah, there's two crates in front, so let's grab just a little bit more wood and we'll go and grab those. Um, 
one more tree. So we've got an ammo crate and I think maybe a general crate. Let's have a look. There is a wolf. Oh, and there's a bear right there. Um, I really want this ammo crate though. I've got a wolf to the right. A bear in front. Isn't that always the way? Let's loop around. So, oh, he's quite close as well. It was that one in the bushes, wasn't he? Yeah, okay. We'll loop around. I think he was over here, wasn't he, originally? I see a bit of ore. I think that might be potassium. Did I see a crate there? No. Nope. If that's potassium, I'm probably going to leave that. You know what? I think that might be iron. Very difficult to tell for me for some reason. I think there's something behind the rock, you know. Potassium. It was. What a waste of time. That being said, I really ought to be picking that up for the garden. It would make my uh, ash usage a little bit, bit easier. Let's go and see if we can grab these crates now, these animals. I've disturbed them a little bit. Maybe they will have moved on. We can always hope. I love this area. Thinking about where I'd like to build on a new season again. Because um, I've enjoyed the um, the difficulties of the the area I'm in now, but depending on what the uh, next update brings, we might restart again. I have to see. But it'd be nice to be back here, I guess. I think this is a bit easier of an area to to do stuff in. Maybe a bit trickier with the uh, hunters there. Alright, let's look around. Where were those crates? Have they have they disappeared now? Because I've been fiddling around with these animals. I could have moved on somewhere else by now. Right, so you're the wolf, you're the bear. I don't see these crates now. Yeah, they might have gone. Let's just have a little look around here then. Um, anything? I thought I saw something dark over here. Maybe a bit of scrap or something? Possibly not. Ah, uh, let's see. I'm not finding anything. I need loot. Where are you? God, this place is absolutely beautiful. Look at the, look at the colour range. And then you get these like pops of orangey red there. Very pretty. There's a bit of ore up on the rock there. I can see one, one lonely fibre. I don't know where that wolf is. What I'm worried about coming down here is um, rogues, so... But it is a nice open path through the forest. Got to keep your eyes on the, uh, on the floor looking for stuff. Because this grass is quite long here. Makes it tricky. But somehow, also, you have to keep an eye out on the uh, horizon as well. Yeah, nothing too much here, to be honest. Good place to stop and chop, uh, chop wood. Yeah, I need to go the other side of these guys. Do you want to loop back around but we'll we'll go this way around the back side of the um little lake yeah very light on the loot isn't it really let's start heading back towards home now i i guess uh, 
I see a berry. Thought I saw a fibre there. Uh, okay, we've got a chicken. We've got no crates. I see medicinal. I found quite a few of these today, which is which is pretty good. Uh, there is a bear there. Oh, there's a berry. Right, what are we short on? We need a little bit of water. You and we'll take one protein bar. Let's get my axe out. Just remind myself again. We need wood. Okay, good. So we can chop all of these little trees. There's a nice little group of them here. And how are we? We're almost at 50 wood. Right, the next tree we'll start the um, this sticks going. And then we can take those back with us. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set all of these to craft sticks and then we'll carry on getting a little bit more wood wish there was a craft all button like if this said craft here and that said craft all that would be kind of useful a little quality of life thing maybe it might make us all lazy though i'm glad it hasn't rained it is much nicer running around and the weather, although it's not raining, um, it definitely feels autumnal somehow. There's, there's, you know, it's hazy and, you know, there's no bright sunshine and feeling that it's hot out. Very clever, the colour palette. The way it changes to give you that feel of, of autumn. But you do get some gorgeous sunny days in autumn. They're just uh, shorter. Uh, we've got a crate. Let's go and grab that. Oh, there's another one here. Let's grab this first. Although the other one's more likely uh, to have um, electrical components in. But I'll take the ammo. We do need that too. I'll keep the axe out just because uh, I do want to get a little bit more wood. One more. So we've got three. I think we need sort of seven or something. So we're not doing too great here. Where's uh, where's the other crate that goes with these two? I suppose it could be up on the hill. Right, we'll grab this scrap. Uh, what time is it? I think we need to be heading back home, to be honest. But we might we might come across some loot on the way home. So go back the way we came. There is a berry here. Done very well on berries today. There's a bit of copper on the rock. Uh, yep, I think we have to. Oh, I don't think we can. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, let's head this way. We're doing okay for stamina and stuff. I'm just going to run for it. We'll keep running. I see a berry. Oh, missed the fibre. I really want to get that. I need to be making fuel bricks as well. Let's run around here a little bit. We're not far really from home now. Right, okay. So, what have we got down here? Oh, there is a crate. That's pretty awesome. Ah, oh, nope, components, okay. Haven't done any hunting. We do seem to have a quite a bit of food in the fridge, although I think that is going to disappear very quickly during winter because of the amount of food that you end up eating. Um, 
So that's something to be aware of. We've got a wolf down here. I've quite enjoyed this little run today. I can't make up my mind whether it's going to start raining soon or, you know, the sun's going to come out again. I'm not really sure what's going on with the weather. Pretty cool though. Nice effect with those rays through the uh, cave there. Um, okay, so we've got a few wolves around. There's a level two something up there, a bear. Let's go this way. Okay, what have we got uh, around here? We can do a little bit of sort of local, local loot. I love all the trees, the, the leaves blowing past or off the trees. Oh, I think that's absolutely gorgeous. Wonder how our um, hunter friends are doing over there. Look how much you can see. It's such a small area, this this little, you know, section of the map. Um, well, the hunter's just come out of his house. He's squatting down by his fire. Not much going on, really. There is a little crate here. We'll get that. Before that bear comes over. Still got a bit of daylight. Now I wasn't really the most efficient that I could have been doing the loot today um, and we only got three electrical components unfortunately so I think it's going to be another day or two before we're able to get what we need unless we get a really good crate in these closing moments today I think it's going to be another day so we can get that done but what we can do is build up the mass and make sure we've got the ingots all that kind of stuff so it won't be a waste just looking for any kind of late crates making sure we stay safe away from animals stamina's okay though so we can run away if necessary there's a crate here Three electrical components, no electrical components, right, okay. Love you. It's getting very dark out now. I think we're going to have to head back in. I think we should be okay going this way. Let's have a look. Uh, there's a level one cougar. All right. There's a crate here just by the house. Let's hope this has got something good in. Looks like it's an ammo crate. Nope, just an ammo crate. Oh my gosh. There's a bear. Don't mind me. Right, okay. Uh, drop a fuel brick in. Let's go and do the other fire so we don't lose it. Fuel brick. Awesome. Right, what we'll do first is we will feed and water the plants and then... Ooh, uh, okay. What can we eat or do something with in here? Ooh, uh, let's put some of this uh, fertiliser away, I guess. <laughs> Completely full, which is not bad. Uh, I can't pick that up, can I? Okay, let's do the watering first. Bit of fertiliser. Drop some water in there. I hear a shotgun. Uh, let's pop you back in there and the fertilizer away. Um, goodness me. Seeds. Yeah, that'll make some room. Any more seeds or anything in here? No, but we should have room now to pick these up. There's only a bit of cotton and a couple. A couple of potatoes, so that's not bad. Okay, we need to have a look at what we want to replant in here. Uh, I've got one tomato seed. Um, I haven't got any water on me, have I? 
Let's drop those in there for a second. I need to make um, more alcohol, so let's do that. Whoops. Craft. Lovely. And we'll put that away. Grab those. And I think we need to turn those into seeds. There we go. And... I think I might have to go downstairs and dump some of this stuff off. Yeah, let's do... well, yeah, let's do that because I don't want to plant some and then the others after. Let's try and plant everything together. Uh, 16 berries on that run. I mean, if nothing else, that, that's pretty decent. Uh, we got some uh, cotton. That's not bad. Three components. We need four for our cooker. Our oven. Let's put all of the rest of this stuff away. We did really well on medicinal plants too. And I've got those hundred um, sticks there. We've got a little bit of wood and some fibre. Let's make a couple of fuel bricks. I think we'll make, we'll make four. Put the rest of that fibre in there. Drop these other things off. And copper. Yeah, we'll do. We'll do those. We may as well. We've got enough power to be doing this, so that's fine. Good. Okay. Um, let's just recycle. How many... how much mass will this give me? That will give me 60. Yep, let's do that. That gives me a little bit of extra mass. Just in case I need it. Um, right, we've got one potato in here, so we could do another potato seed. Uh, let's eat and let's get rid of a couple of these tomatoes out my inventory. I have two of you. Okay, uh, so what do we want to replant? Let's see. So we've got four of you, one of you. Um, do I want to do some onions? I might do because if we get the if we get the oven. We might want to do liver and onions. There we go. Yeah, that's good. I think that'll work. We do have a lot of tomatoes, so... We may as well take... Uh, take advantage of that. Uh, we'll pop you away. Right, okay, so we've got all of this water to fill up. We need one too, so we may as well do the whole run. Uh, are you finished yet? 68%. Some ash in here. Oh, um, we should probably put that down on another row. I'll put those there just to stop things dropping in the wrong place when I shift click. Okay. Um, anything in there? Nope. Right, have we still got a bear outside here? We do. That's going to be quite tricky to top the water up with him there. He is moving away. We'll come back out in just a second. Let's have a look at what we have uh, ingot-wise. Right, we've got six ingots. For the oven, we need six ingots, um, 20 scrap, 1,000 power, 150 mass, 30 electrical. We just are all short. What a shame. That is such a shame. Okay. We've got all of these um, medicinal uh, plants. Let's make some biofuel. I think we only need to keep, I don't know, probably not even 20. Uh, but I will keep 20. Uh, we've got one alcohol in there. Um, I think we've... That was, that's, the, that's the alcohol ready. Let's grab you then. Oh, we've got two here and one, one downstairs already. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm just making sure I planted those. I did. Okay, let's head downstairs if we can get down the ladder. There we go. So, we'll grab a bit of you and... Oh, I, I know why we wanted more. We wanted more for two Molotovs, I think. Um, we've got another one of you. Let's see. I think I can only make one. Yeah, I need... Um, I need more. 
Did I uh, put any iron here? I've got one, so I need one more to make my second Molotov. But what we do have is one grenade there. So we can use that grenade plus this Molotov. And we could, if we wanted to, go and take on that um, other hunter camp. Which might be, which might be a fun thing to do. And that might give us some materials as well, so that could be good. Put those away in there. Let's do that. Uh, so yeah, put that away. And there's our biofuel coming in. Let's top up the generator, because we did run that today. Quite heavily. Where are you? You were just down there. I want to go and fill this water up. Have you moved far enough away now? I think if we come and stand down here. Oh look, a cotton! Right outside the base! And we've got a cotton seed from it, not a piece of cotton. I've n I'm not sure. Do we normally just get a cotton seed from it? Or do we get a piece of cotton? Well that's very interesting, I'm not sure about that. Anyway, let's do some, get some water doing cooking yeah that that is um i don't know maybe i've just not noticed that before but yeah very uh, very nice to see an extra cotton seed uh yeah so not a bad day i quite enjoyed the looting um we made a good bit of progress did we open up any of those sort of uh no, those bits of the map that were kind of dark, darker. Uh, maybe a little bit. I think some of these might be the big rocks or something and that's why we're not seeing them. Uh, but we didn't go too far. We kind of ran around the, the path that runs around the lake down there. And then kind of looped back around and came home. But um, it was a nice loot run. I definitely want to try and open up more of this map. Uh, let's see if we can see any more signs of any camps anywhere. Any stray gunfire catching our eyes? No, not really. I do love this map. I, I'm so surprised. I, I was always one of the people who didn't really want a map in the game, but now that we have it, I really appreciate it. I think it's a great feature. Right, okay. Well, I think that's where i'm going to leave this episode let me get back downstairs this is such a lovely day i want to get straight back out there again yeah okay well that's where i'm going to leave it so thank you so much for watching until next time take care and i'll see you again soon bye for now